Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of ice cream sandwich running Google Now with voice search. And yes, it works 100%. And I'm going to prove that to you guys right now. So the first thing I need to do is prove I'm actually running ice cream sandwich. Uh, let's go into it. We all the way down, about phone. Okay, so I'm running a Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the Rogers network. Whoa, my hand slip. Android 4.0.4. Sci Engine Mod 9. Okay, so there's your proof from running Ice Cream Sandwich and not Android Jelly Bean. Now, uh, I have a video on getting Google Now up and running on Ice Cream Sandwich before. This time, however, voice search is working and the app is a lot more stable. And let me show you that right now by demonstrating it. So, what you're going to do is simply tap the uh, magnify button if you have one. There's Google Now. All right, so I can obviously uh, type what I want to search, but let's do voice commands instead because that's what people really want. Google. Hmm, it's not working. Google. How tall is Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan is six feet six inches tall. I know the first time it didn't respond to my Google command, which is pretty embarrassing, but at least it worked. Uh, what else can I search? Okay. How old is Sergey Brin? Sergey Brin is 38 years old. Okay, so that's the founder of Google, or one of, rather. And of course, you get these card results if Google's search engine is... Uh, if it feels confident enough in finding the exact answer you want, it usually uses Wikipedia as a reference. If it doesn't have enough confidence, or whether it does or not, it'll still search uh, Google normally, and you get regular Google search results. Uh, let's see what else can do. Oh, this there's one little, like, I guess an Easter egg feature you can call it. Uh, I'll make the screen rotate around if you do this. Do a barrel roll. As you can see, I don't know if you noticed it, but the screen kind of just did a, like a somersault type of thing. Um, just a nice little Easter egg feature. Nothing important, of course. Now, it, it does make phone calls if you say, call somebody. Um, I'm not going to show you that in this video because I don't want you guys seeing my contact. However, it does have problem recognizing names that are not, uh, I guess you can say, westernized names. Names that are like, say, I'm Punjabi, so obviously he's having trouble contacting Punjabi people. Um, so like I said, westernized names, um, like Craig, George, stuff like that, it'll work great. But if you're some, uh, from a different culture, honestly, don't expect it to work too well. It does t it does make phone calls, but it might not do a great job. It'll might, it just, if it doesn't recognize a name or the pronunciation, it'll do a Google search result of something totally different. Okay, so let's try something a bit more harder to understand. Let's try searching my website, so let's do that. Open web page babblingboolean.com Okay, see it babbling boolean didn't do it right. Let's try it one last time. If not, then we'll go to something else. Open babblingboolean.com Opening web page. Oh, there it goes. And of course, as you can see, it gives you a preview, but then it has like this waiting bar. It's waiting for the user to respond, should I open it, yes or no. And if you don't do anything for a while, eventually it'll open. I guess it's kind of like a safety feature in case a rude website shows up as the uh, result. And there you go, there's my website, it showed up fine. So considering uh, Boolean is a slightly less used word, it did find it just fine. Now, one problem I have noticed, it's not a big problem, is that when you're doing something, just anything at all, you got the app open, sometimes pressing the back button will make it freeze. There, it just froze, as you can see. I keep pressing the back button, nothing's happening. This is very easy to fix. Just simply press the home button, press your search button again, and it opens and it works just fine. So even though pressing the back button a lot to exit won't work, just press the home button and it tends to, uh, sorry, and then open it up and it tends to work just fine. Uh, as you can see, I'm running CyanogenMod Mod 9. I have the Google search bar at the top. Tapping in that will give you the same thing. Google Now. There we go. Guess I wasn't tapping it properly. 
so for the most part, it, it is very responsive, uh, really well done. Let's search the weather in my home city, even though it does that a lot. What is the weather in Brampton today? The forecast for Branson today is 34 degrees with a thunderstorm. No, I'm Canadian. I'm in Canada, not Branson. Anyway, well, you get the gist of it. Um, and yes, it does have traffic. I can't really show you that because I don't want you knowing my home street address or basically what I've done is set my university as my work uh, location. And I wonder if I can show you guys how to do that. Uh, Google now. Traffic. You're just going to play with these options. Like I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to give away to my address and stuff. Basically, if if you can't send it, if you can't set up your home address or your work address here, just use Google Maps on your computer desktop. And basically, when as you're driving, in the notification bar at the top here, you'll get this Google card saying, "Okay, you're driving to work today," or whatever destination you set, in my example, it's my university name, it'll say, okay, traffic is gonna be 35 minutes today. You're gonna have a two minute delay because it's during peak time. Um, if you leave Google now open while you're driving, it'll update the card as you're driving, but again, that consumes a lot of battery because the screen's on and, well, it's pretty dangerous. So it is neat. It tries to predict things within your life. It works great on ice cream sandwich. So for those of you that don't have Jelly Bean, this is the top feature of Jelly Bean. Um, Jelly Bean has some minor security fixes and whatnot, but this is the thing that people want the most. For those of you running ice cream sandwich, you can do it. However, keep in mind you must be rooted and you must have Clockwork Mod Recovery up and running. So to get it up and running, I'm going to have a video on that. Uh, I'll have a link to it just now at the ending, which you guys can install it, and it's actually pretty fun to play with. So that's a quick demonstration on uh, how it works. I could keep giving you searches and searches of random gibberish, um, but as you guys saw, it works pretty quickly. Um, on my mobile data plan, it's quite fast and responsive, snappy, and that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button, it really does help. Subscribe, check out my website in the description below, and thanks for watching.